ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 12th of January. And cold is the word. Coldest air so far this season. In some cases, the coldest air in a number of years. Uh, let's talk about it. We'll go to some sky cam shots. And don't forget, we've got the uh, big Alabama rivers still in flood, especially down in the lower part. That's the Demopolis sky cam, the view coming from the Demopolis Civic Center. And the river is cresting today, we think. The uh, level at the Demopolis Lock and Dam is about 78 feet, and that's around 12 feet above flood stage. You can see the water really moving in on that RV park. But we think the levels slowly fall today, and it will be probably this weekend before the levels get below flood stage, though. Up this way, nice to see the sun shining in Birmingham after a morning with some freezing fog and number of traffic accidents because of icy spots on bridges. And up in Jasper in northwest Alabama, some high clouds moving in. We'll keep an eye on those. And uh, we do expect to see increasingly cloudy conditions tonight. There's the water vapor satellite shot, and you can see that strong shortwave coming down through the upper Midwest. That is going to uh, bring the first phase of the cold air. The coldest air holds off till Thursday and Friday, but it'll be cold enough tomorrow and Wednesday. Temperatures today you can see at mid-afternoon, uh, 1 o'clock, minus 5s, nosing down into North Dakota. And the rest of that will be plunging southward in coming days. Check out that watch warning map. How about a blizzard warning for Chicago? Oh, boy, how'd you like to be driving home in that? Blizzard warnings up for Des Moines, Iowa, parts of the Dakotas, and winter weather advisories all the way from uh, Oklahoma up into the Great Lakes with this first wave coming down the line. Here's a look at the overall precipitation for the next five days, and this is suggesting nothing measurable here, and that's good. No, no major snow, no major ice. Flurries, yeah, we could see those with each uh, front tomorrow and then again Thursday, but shouldn't cause any issues. We'll take a look at uh, modeling here. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at noon tomorrow. Strong shortwave energy rotating through here to the base of the longwave trough, but the air's dry tomorrow. And again, it's going to be a windy and very chilly day. We might not get out of the 30s. I know the guidance is showing, what, 50? That's laughable. I think the, the number we're using in the forecast is 44. That could be too warm. Uh, but it'll be a lot like Sunday, just a raw, windy, cold day. And we will mention morning snow flurries. You can't ignore that strong energy coming through the base of the trough. But the moisture very limited. Wednesday, Sunny and cold day. High should be in the upper 40s after a start in the, uh, well, around 20, we think, Wednesday morning. But here comes the really cold day. This is uh, Thursday. Ridge way up over western Canada, downstream trough over the eastern U.S. And how about a 1,048 millibar high over the Dakotas, sending down the cold air. Temperatures struggling to get above freezing. The wind chill index could drop to the single digits. Maybe down to near zero at times. And again, we'll mention a few flurries on Thursday, but no big deal with that. The cold is the big deal. And then Friday, look at the uh, surface high just north of us. That should be the morning the, the bottom falls out. Uh, we think lows Friday morning in the 10 to 15 degree range are likely. But the colder valleys over north Alabama could easily see numbers between 4 and 9 above zero. And again, that's no wind chill index. That's the actual level. And that is pipe bursting weather. And with thickness values like that, I don't know if we get above freezing on Friday. We could be below freezing both days, quite frankly. Saturday, after a cold morning in the teens, we should rise above freezing, uh, reaching the uh, probably uh, low 40s. And then Sunday, strong energy diving down the trough, but the trough axis is east of the state. At the surface, the GFS depicts a little field of moisture, very limited moisture coming through. And while the thickness values on that chart, that's the 500 to 1,000 millibar thickness, suggest liquid. The lower thickness values, 1,000 to 850, suggest there could be a few snowflakes mixed in with that, or maybe all snowflakes. But it's very skimpy moisture. And again, uh, looking at some of the other global models, the uh, uh, Canadian, very limited moisture. The uh, better chance of any precipitation was seen to be northeast of here. And the... Japanese, again, shows this plug of moisture back off to the southwest, but again, it's quite limited, so I think we'll mention a chance of maybe some light rain or light snow Sunday and kind of downplay it for now. 
And then Monday of next week, uh, still the chance of some light snow north of here. Still a pretty good northerly flow. That's going to be a very chilly day, but not as cold as it has been over the weekend. Let's dig uh, five days deeper, the 24th of January. That's still pretty cold looking right there. Got a polar vortex up over Hudson Bay. And uh, very cold air. Looks dry. Not as cold as later this week, but still cold enough. And then out there at the end of the month on the 28th, the zonal flow developing, and that's going to keep uh, some pretty cold air to the north. But again, with that type of flow, we think the uh, coldest air should stay north of here. So more than likely, the coldest weather of the month of January will come over the next four days, and now's the time to get ready. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.